Hey, Lance, you've been in the last few years in the playoffs, some rotations with some big names, Verlander, Cole, Granke, Dallas, all those guys, to get the ball first, finally, and sort of be the guy. Just what is that like, and how much are you looking forward to that responsibility? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not putting too much stock into it. I feel like, uh, you know, I've had, a, I've had a nice season. I feel like the team and the organization, you know, Dusty, you know, they recognize that and give me the, the ball game one, which um, I'm very excited about. But at the same time, you know, I'm just going to go out there and just, you know, you know, be myself. I feel like, you know, what I bring to the table, um, you know, I have the ability to, uh, you know, pitch and, you know, with anyone. And I'm excited to just get out there and, uh, you know, give my best effort for the guys. Go to Brian on the left side. Lance, you, you've obviously you were drafted by this team, and you've been through so much. I mean, we, you couldn't even answer an on question. But I'm just wondering, you've always been such a big proponent of the Astros and Houston, and the the fans have always backed you. You've always had such a close tie to this organization. What what's it? How, how do you describe that? That this has been an organization that you've really, really, even when they've been you know attacked on the outside, you've always gone out of your way to stand up for them. No, I just feel a, a very deep. Uh, connection here in Houston um, it's it's hard to explain I feel like uh, this is where I'm supposed to be um, you know I love the city I love the people that's that's from my heart um, you know, I moved here in 2016 I was barely even I was barely even beyond my rookie season and my wife and I packed up and and we came straight here we thought like this is our home so um, you know this organization this city that means a lot to me my family um, they've always treated me with a lot of love and respect so I always try to give that back Go to Mark up here in the front. Lance Carlos said yesterday, you're their ace. That's what aces do. They take the ball in game one. That you're a monster come playoff time. What do you think about that coming from Carlos? Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's my guy. And and he's the true monster when it comes to playoff time. But, uh, you know, I, I try to do my best, keep up with them. Um, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm very excited to be the guy that gets to, to open the playoffs for our team. You know, we came into spring training. This was our goal. You know, our goal was to, you know, win the West, and our goal was to, you know, go on to the division series. And, you know, step one is kind of um, we check the box, which was when the which was when our division. Now we have to take business. We have to take care of business against a very very good team uh, who won their division. But it means a lot to me that the guys in in, in our clubhouse, um, you know, that they 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 trust in me. I feel like they you know there's a lot of mutual respect that goes you know both ways with with all the guys. You know, we have a very close. You know, family-oriented locker room, so it means a lot when when guys say things like that, especially coming from um, you know someone like Carlos Chandler, Lance Jimenez, and Robert weren't in the lineup when you guys face them in the regular season. What does adding those two guys just bring? How different is their lineup now than what you saw in the regular season? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I feel like, like I said, I, I feel like I can pitch with anyone, pitch against anybody. Um, they're, they're they're great players. You know, so uh, we'll have to uh, find a game plan. And, you know, it's about execution. You know, and if, if I execute my game plan, if I'm, you know, throwing the ball where I want to throw the ball, I feel, I feel just fine. So they're very good players. Um, you know, they, they weren't there the first couple times. Actually, the guys that were playing for them, I've had trouble with in the past. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I, I feel good about it. Christy. Lance, how much different do you think the playoffs will be this year, um, being able to play at home again and play in front of fans? Well, this year has been refreshing, just having fans, you know, our fans in the ballpark. It was tough last year. You know, it was very, it's very odd, you know, I would say. The short season, you know, with the, the big break in the middle of the summer and then no fans and, you know, that kind of situation. So I'd be very happy to, um, you know, this was kind of the moment that I've been waiting for, you know, coming back from the rehab and all that stuff, just being able to, you know, really have Minute Maid, you know, you know, full of electricity because this place gets this place gets rocking. Um, I'll be able to have my family here as well. So um, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great it's gonna be a great series. Just being home. I think it's gonna be really cool and I'm great. I'm very happy that we have home field and hopefully we don't get to that fifth game. But if we do then our fans get to see one more. Up here in the front on the, on your left. The White Sox do they have a little bit of playoff experience? Uh, totally different uh, last year than what you just kind of follow up on that. How much advantage do you guys have over them as far when it gets into these playoff tight games? I, I don't know. Uh, I think everyone reacts to the postseason different. I think you've seen guys, um, I think of like a Rosarena, you, know, you see guys in their first postseason ever, um, and, and, and they, you know, absolutely just, you know, they embrace it and they, and they, and they take off. And then guys have been in the postseason a lot, and 
um, you don't always always play their best. So it, it really just depends on you know how the guys um, you know are going to you know react to, to that atmosphere. We have some first season, post season guys in our our club as well. But I'm I'm looking forward to seeing those guys make the, the their first post seasons. I think everyone's going to respond extremely well. Um, at the end of the day, you know you just have to you know we have to play our best baseball. You know we have to pitch, we have to hit, we have to play defense. We have to do the little things right. And I think whatever team does that, and I know it's kind of like a, you know, very generic answer, but it's true. When when the team that the team that does, you know, the things the best are going to win because this is a very good team we're playing against, and we just have to you know focus on our game and not to worry much about the postseason or the outside of the expectations. Focus on you know what we have to take care of right now, which is you know you know winning every inning. Up here in the front on the right side. Hey, Lance, you guys have been here before, as you said. You have some people who have not. Can you just talk about where this team is um, mentally and, and, and how you're approaching it? How do you feel about the, the whole team? We're very excited. You know, I think, uh, like I said, when you get to the postseason, it's, like a, it's a reward. It, it's, you come into camp, your goal is to get to the postseason, win your division, do all these things. You know how hard it's going to be. You know the grind that it's going to take. Um, especially with our schedule and how much we have to travel and you know all, all of that stuff. So when you get to the postseason, when you accomplish that first goal, this is like your reward. You get to go out there, you get to play October baseball. There's only a handful of teams left. You know, all the eyes are on you. But um, you know, a lot of people play this game for a long time and never get to taste the postseason. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, would would do a lot and give a lot to be able to you know pitch in, an, in a postseason game, win their division. You know, do things of that nature. So this is a privilege to be here. We're excited to be here. Um, and like I said, we're going to focus on one game at a time. You can't make plans for the end of October before you take care of, uh, you know, right now. So that, that's where our focus lies. But we're excited. Go second row in the middle. Lance, I was looking at some numbers that basically have you guys and I guess the Cardinals is like in a class of your own defensively, like two of the, basically the two best defensive teams in the game. How important is that going to be and, and how comfortable do you feel? I guess it's sort of obvious, but how comfortable do you feel with a defense like that behind you? Uh, that's part of our brand, and that's what I was kind of getting at, you know, getting at earlier. Now, I, I, I know heading down the stretch we were leading the league in uh, defensive percentage. I don't know where that ended up, but um, you know, we have a great defense. We have, you know, um, a lot of players that are just, you know, super good at what they do. And, and also, we have a great analytics staff. You know, you get to shout out to those guys as well because they put a lot of work in, you know, understanding uh, the game, trying to figure out, you know, where the best, best place is to play these guys. So they're in the, they're in the they're, they have the opportunity to make plays. At the end of the day, it comes down to the, those guys out there making them. But uh, we have an extremely good defense. And I think that bodes well for us. You know, we, um, we have a great offense as well. And, you know, we have, we have, we have a great pitching staff. So, all three, you know, of those aspects just need to, you know, show up and, um, you know, do what we've been doing all year. Back to Brian on the left. Lance, there are a few guys who are here in 15, the, the first year you guys made the playoffs again. What's it mean to have the consistency, but also know that the opportunity that, that October presents to, to you and Carlos and Jose and those, that, those few people who were here when this all started? And like I said, it's just, it's just a privilege to be able to play October baseball. I, I, you know, my, my father played many years in this game, uh, seven, you know, seven, eight years. I know a lot of guys who go their whole careers and they never get to get to a postseason in general. So being able to be here, I think, uh, I don't know, my fifth, maybe sixth time, um, it's, it's a blessing. And being able to look around the locker room and still seeing some of those faces that, you know, kind of broke through and did it for the first time in 10 years, um, you know, kind of bringing postseason baseball back to, uh, back to Houston. Um, you know, it's, it's really cool and special to still see those guys here, um, you know, because at the end of the day, I really do feel like, you know, Houston's a baseball city. I feel like they, 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 they love baseball and, um, you know, we, we, get to, uh, we get to give them that joy. Jake. Oh, boy, Jake. Got in there. <laughs> you and uh, Maldonado have formed, like, an obvious rapport these last few years. I guess what is it about throwing to him specifically that uh, has kind of made this, this partnership work for you guys? Yeah, so it, Actually, in, uh, in 2017, we were playing the Angels, and a I'm, AJ was here, and you know, I was I would watch Maldi catch, and I would always be like nudging AJ, like, hey, we got we got to get that guy, we got to trade for that guy. Um, I just love the way you know he he plays. I feel like he's just a he's an animal out there. You know, his 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 demeanor, um, you know, it, it goes a long way, and that's something I I've been saying. It's like you nothing 
you cannot replace what a guy like Maldi brings to the table. It's not going to show up in you know the stat sheets. Not going to show up in the back of the baseball card. There's no metric really to um, show how valuable he is. But you know he's he's the glue of our team. You know, he's the he's one of the the main leaders of our clubhouse, and uh, you know his preparation is unmatched, and his his want and will to win you can feel it, and I can feel it when I'm on the mound. So um, it brings it brings the best out of me uh, as well. But Maldi's a guy that uh, you know I've I've been I've been super blessed, and Jason Castro is still here, and he was my rookie catcher, and I've been so blessed to throw to guys like Castro, Hank Conger, Max Stassi, Brian McCann, and now Martin Maldonado. So. I've been blessed with a lot of great catchers, but what Molly does is he, he just has this kind of like aura around him. He's just a special guy to have, you know, as, as your backstop, and, you know, he, he brings a lot to this team. Right here on the right. Lance, how much does uh, past performance mean for you, given how well you pitched against the White Sox in the regular season? I, I, think, I think when you get to the postseason, I think a lot of that's kind of thrown out the window. Um, you know, yes, I pitched solid against them this year, but – at the same time, you know, that they've seen me a few times. They're going to make adjustments. We're going to try to make adjustments. But you know, like I said, I, I feel like my, my stuff plays. And I just have to go out there, just be aggressive, stay on the attack. And um, at the end of the day, it's just about um, it's about who's better. And, you know, that that's kind of the beauty of postseason baseball is you, you have so many games against the same teams, the same team. And a lot of times you face those teams multiple times. So, you know, you really, truly almost always get the, the team that, you know, is, is just – the, the better of the two that, that comes out of the series, which is exciting. And um, I have to go out there and just and just continue being who I've been. You know, I've been this season. I feel like I've added a lot of different layers to my game as far as pitching goes. Um, you know, physically and mentally, I feel like I'm, I'm probably in the best spot I've been. So I just want to go out there and, you know, put my best foot forward. Any last ones for Lance? Take one more back. Hey, Lance, career high and in game started, innings. Do you feel as sharp and as fresh as you expect to after all that coming in? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone's going to be 100. Yeah, that's just – that's that's given. But um, a lot of that comes into, you know, you got to dig deep in, in, in these moments and you just got to, you know, just bring the best out of yourself, best out of your team. So I feel really good. I threw a really good bullpen this week, been playing – you know, a lot of really good catch. Um, September was 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 good for me. I felt like I had some rest days as well. You know, kind of built in for a period of time there in August and early September. There wasn't a lot of rest, but we had the six man rotation going. We had some off days, so that with, with the the lead we had, even though even though the the Seattle had a great run and uh, they were kind of chasing us down there at the end, it, it kind of worked out in the way where. You know, we were able to get some rest when we needed it. Some of the guys on the team, position player-wise, were able to get some rest as well. So um, I think everyone feels about as, as good as they can feel uh, at this point in, in, in the year.